If you go like this, I will not be able to teach again. I came with a burden within my spirit. A heavy burden laden in my heart. Because recently there was a vacancy open to recruit new men and women that would bear relevance. But you see, many are not willing to apply. Many are busy. And my challenge is in the next six years to the next ten years, a cycle will come when new apostolic and prophetic voices that will be giving relevance will come. They are yet not prepared. After every 10, 10 years, from 7 years to the next 10 years, new voices are released. It's not what you compete for. No, you discern by wisdom and you apply. You don't need to be qualified. Go! As you are being schooled in the spirit, you will be equipped for that function. But sometimes you can be so distracted and you will not know when they will advertise for an admission. Such as don't recruit all the time. There is a time where they advertise. If you miss that time, you have to wait for another season. A generation is about to be wasted. They have given themselves to a destruction. And God is beckoning upon them. The problem is that the work will be too lacking upon the present voices. But if we can find that one man, that one woman, the nations will beckon. The nations will cry. And in every region, God must find a remnant. If God does not find a remnant, He will send messengers to the intent that they activate the remnant. God forbid that your life, your family, your region is waiting for an itinerary preacher. And you are in the land, and yet again, the land can't feel your impact. God forbid. Not in our time. Have your seat. Let me educate you in doctrine. Let me see if I can manage 30 minutes, then we pray again. I bring you greetings from heaven. I know many of you have dwelled there. I also bring you greetings from the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Oh. I want to appreciate each and everyone for taking our time to be here again in Shekina. Please give the Lord a shout if you are here, please. Shekina, give the Lord a shout. Excited to be here, give the Lord a shout. Please help me appreciate the choir. They did so much. Thank you so much. And every other department. Thank you so so much. Help me appreciate all the ministers. So many of them came around, my beloved friends. Let me appreciate my biological parents, my mom and dad. My dad just came in now. Thank you so much. Uh, by me here, my friend is here. <laughs> Evangelist Victor Gugu is around. The one that minister my flesh must die is here. Minister Ifa in all the way from Abuja. I told you, seeing my flesh must die. Our flesh needs to die. Eh? I don't know what we're going to do, but you must see how to sing that song. Also, Daniel is around, my pastor Daniel, the way from Zaria is around, my cousin brother, Apostle Righteous is around, Prophet Adams is around, his intimacy network president, uh, my beloved friend, Apostle Jonathan Akwanza is also around, Minister Joseph just came in, all the other ministers, thank you so much, oh, this is Ernest, right? Ernest, thank you so much for coming, Ernest is the, he runs uh, Engaging God, Experiencing God Network in uh, Abuja. Thank you so much for coming and his friend. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. All the head of department, Peter is here, Vic Wisdom, and everybody. Thank you so much for 
coming. It takes a lot of sacrifice to make this work. Also, help me appreciate Esla and Val and who all of them have been here since morning doing serious work here. Many of you came and just sat down. As we sit, ensure you are praying. Ask your neighbor, hope you came praying. Ask the neighbor. The last Shekinah I told you I will be traveling to Southern Africa. God did marvelous things there. I was at Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. I was at Lusaka, Zambia. Before I came back and I flew into Portacourt. I just came back yesterday around 2 a.m. Flight was delayed. When they delayed flight, be happy because the plane wanted to crash. They tried to fix it. Are you getting it? So don't be angry. It's only late you come. It's okay. It's better than the thing have issue in the sky that you start praying. At least we save our prayer for now. So please, thank you so much for coming. Um, I trust God that within the few moments that we have, I will teach you something very profound. Then we pray again. Go with me to the book of Proverbs. You see, many years ago, God taught me something very profound. Apart from the five fingers of greatness, the things that buy money that God taught me, the next thing that God began to teach me was what I call the challenges of the believers. An average believer in our today's society is challenged with all kinds of things. And you see, these things are generic. And what I mean by them being generic is what affects almost everybody. But you see, a few that understand how these things are, find a way out of them. The Bible says, do not be ignorant of the devil's devices. The devil has a strategy. And one of the strategies of the devil is to ensure that he orchestrates a mystery where which you can be trapped. At any time the devil find a way to lure you into his trap, you may never come out of it. And most of these things are what we refer to as the believers' challenges. 